All right, guys, welcome to the players' meeting for Grenade. So in Grenade, you have two discs and 75 seconds, all right? All throws are going to be 10-yard throws or 30-foot throws. It's going to be played on the standard 30-foot by 30-foot or 10-yard by 10-yard, same thing, um, Updog video games field. And you're going to want to have the uh, square set up because you're going to need this uh, 10 foot by 10 foot sweet spot square right there in the middle where the SS is. Okay, so all throw attempts are gonna come from behind a uh, throwing line. Now you can choose whatever your throwing line is, but all throw attempts uh, will be uh, 10 yards or 30 feet long. So if you were throwing, if you chose this as your spot to start, you would throw it there. You wouldn't throw it here, hopefully you throw it uh, beyond there. There's no out of bounds. It just needs to be beyond the line. Okay. So, and then after you attempt two throws from that throwing line, you are going to change bunkers or throwing lines. So if you threw two um, there, you would then move to wherever you wanted, depending on your strategy. You could move to there. You can move to there. You can move over there. It just needs to be a different throwing line. Okay, and that's gonna go on through the whole game. After you attempt two throws from a throwing line, you move to a different throwing line from the, from the one you were just at, but it can be any one of them. So you could use the, two, the same two throwing lines the whole game, you could use all four, you can do whatever you want. You just need to move after two throw attempts. Now, where it gets really interesting is you can use just one of the discs or you could use both discs. If you use just one disc for your throw attempts, so you make a throw here, that's a two point throw attempt. Now your second throw attempt, if you did it with that same disc, you just dog bring it back, or you ran out and grabbed it from your dog, went back to line through again, you know, whatever you wanted to do, that would be another two point attempt. So it would be a total for four points total. If you use both discs, your first throw attempt would be worth, uh, a, would be a two point catch. And then if you used the second disc there and threw it again, that would be a one point attempt. So it'd be a total for three points at that uh, throwing line. So it's up to you and your strategy and your dog doesn't need to bring any of these discs behind the throwing line. So you could do like a double throw out there, like a little mini zigzag thingy, or you could bring your, have your dog bring it back for more points. It's up to you on your strategy and what you want to do. Any disc that is missed during the round explodes and is unusable for the rest of the game until the sweet spot opportunity. So basically you're just going to be doing two throws from each throwing line and then moving on, moving on, and you're gonna do whatever you want for your strategy uh, for disc utilization and how to score points. And then uh, at the end of the game, how you're gonna to wanna to end your round is doing the sweet spot opportunity. Do you need to do the sweet spot? No, you don't. But if you do, it's definitely worth your while. So before the tea and time to end your round, like after you attempt the sweet spot thing, you can't attempt anything else for the rest of your round. Just keep that in mind. So you're gonna wanna keep it, save it for the end. Um, but before the tea and time, you must complete this. Complete your first catch. So from wherever throwing on you're at, you gotta throw it to the sweet spot square, okay? And then you're going to want, and that's worth two points. Then you're going to want to complete a second catch in forward momentum, okay, in um, the 10 yards out or 30 feet out. So like that, you're going to do a boom and then boom, okay? Now this needs to be done in succession. You can't do boom and have your dog come back to you, send them around and do another one. It needs to be you know, kind of a fluid motion. We're looking for more of a double throw attempt, not um, a throw, bring back, hand off, throw, not even a throw with a long pause in between it, really setting them up. You want it. a little bit of pause is fine, but we're more so looking for a nice fluid motion. So if you leave it really close, it's gonna be the judge's call. And you need to catch the first catch in the sweet spot um, to get the, um, extra points for the longer throw for the sweet spot double shot. Now, if you get the one catch in the sweet spot, uh, spot that's two points. If you get both though, it's worth seven points. And that is how you play the game of Grenade. If you guys have any questions, just shoot us an email at updogbiteclub at gmail.com. Go have some fun.